actions now depends on the upcoming COP26 in Glasgow, Scotland. Yes, yes, yes. Hello? This is Ben Marley, District 4297, Lesser Britain. I don't know if this is gonna work, my... I'm hooking into these electromagnetic surges and this should have jumped 30 years back, 2020. If you can hear this, and there's still hope. What was it like back then? So much feels like a myth now. Oceans you could swim in and whales. Crops that grew without plastic. Seasons, winter, spring, summer. Birdsong. Bees. Those two? You know, I wonder if your people could understand, or if they even cared, that the greatest threat to our species wasn't a virus, it was ourselves. Let me explain. They called it climate change. Now we just call it the forgetting, when the fabric of our world began to fray. Well, what was forgotten? Our responsibilities, our power, our place. As humans burned up ancient oil and gas and coal, carbon dioxide spread around our atmosphere, which sent all our complex feedback mechanisms off kilter. Our weather system currents, our ecosystems, even our cultures. After a certain point, there was nothing that we could do. People had forgotten how precious our world was, and by the time they realised, it was too late. But hey, this isn't meant to be a message of doom. If my calculations are right, and this is going to be sent to the year that we could have made a change. 2020. It's the year I was born. It was the year when people came out of their homes after that terrible virus. We could have started talking to their neighbours. They could have started noticing the flowers that were growing along the roadside. Not wanting to get into cars and live busy lives. And taking their governments to camp. It's still all possible. Listen to me. Do your research. Speak to people about this. And whatever you do, do not forget. You can change the future.